Hey, I'm Hunter. I'm Jade, and we are AFI. You're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Jade and Hunter from AFI. Hello. 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 Thanks How are we both doing? Good. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited about this. Awesome. So I want to kick things off by diving right into AFI, the Blood Album, new yep. record release. Does it feel pretty good to finally unleash some new tunes? It does. This is the tenth show on the record, and um, tenth show, tenth record. Tenth show, tenth record. Um, we're playing about three or four new songs every night, and the response has been great. So yeah, it's been a long time coming. I personally love finding out that you based four different vinyl on this release for all the four different blood types. So for you guys, why did you decide to go with the blood theme? Um, lyrically, as we were writing the record, the lyrics started, there's a recurrent theme of blood in the lyrics that was sort of subconscious. And, you know, Davey noticed it and we started talking about, well, you know, we should do something artwork related with blood because it just seems to be that's where this lyrically it's headed. That's where the album artwork came from. And then from there, just we started calling it the Blood Album, and then it became the Blood Album. I like how the imagery for Blood, you think of things that are darker, they're a little bit richer, but then you have songs like White Offering, Snow Cats, and Dark Snow, which is almost the opposite. It's very light. <laughs> yeah, well, Dark Snow, that's a little, you know, that's a creepy snow. Yeah, it could be. A creepy there snow, could be I like blood that. In that snow, if you think yeah. about it. Having Snow twice in titles on the record, I don't believe in coincidences, so why did you decide to go with that? You know what? Honestly, it was a coincidence. Was it really? <laughs> the snow and the white, and it's, <laughs> it's, um,. That was completely coincidental. The blood thing was like a subconscious coincidence, but the white thing just happened naturally. Well, I'm really digging the new video. You put this out just a couple of days ago, so great timing for it, but for really, uh, mm -hmm. you guys are really up close and personal with the camera. Thanks. It's close-ups on your face, your chin, your eyes, everything. So what was it like filming that and putting it together? That was weird. It was like having a camera right here the whole time. Just focusing just like in, yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was, I don't know, I feel like we've never had anything that sort of personal. Yeah, I don't like it. It's very harrowing. Oh, I think you'd, you'd be used to having cameras pretty close, but that was not really, that close. That was Not really that close. close. It's far too intimate. You know, I like prefer having them like if this camera was like across the street, <laughs> that would be like my comfort That's level. Ideal. Yes. Next video. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Long distance. Please. For this record, there were about 60 songs written, and then of course you narrowed it down to the 14 that are now on the Blood album. Was there any fighting between the band members to choose your favorites? How did that go down when you were narrowing it? Um, not really. I mean, you know, we do it sort of democratically, where we discuss the merits of the song, and um, usually there's at least a core group of songs that present themselves as the strongest material, and so there's, there's not that much discussion about that, but when you get down to the final, like, three or four, then there's a lot of a lot of discussion and argument about like you know presenting well, cases for different yeah, songs yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but and then we end up like just putting them all on the record anyway yeah <laughs> yeah we put a lot of the songs on this record we have never done 14 since probably before I was even in the band yeah so like so what, like 18 years ago yeah almost 20 years Jeez. yeah <laughs> so like we usually try to keep it 12 13 at the most but this time we just liked so many of the songs we're like we gotta put the Gotta put that one more on yeah. there. Yeah, put Jamie, one more on there. You co-produced this record, which is something you've been wanting to do for a really long time. So how was it getting your hands in there and wearing the different hats? Um, it was a little daunting when I thought about it, because usually after the songwriting process, I get to kind of step back and let someone else take over. But it just made sense, and it ended up being actually really quick and easy, and the process was very streamlined and natural, and I felt like, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out, so I could have ruined it, I suppose, <laughs> if I would have like, <laughs> if I would have been a, a super poor producer. But I'm, I, I'm pretty happy with the way, way it turned out. So yeah, it turned out awesome. If that's any well, thank you, <laughs> thank you. If that verifies anything for you. <laughs> thank you, appreciate that. And Hunter, you yourself coined level five vegan. Yeah, I mean that's a Simpsons reference, but uh, I yes, I'm vegan. So being on the road, you're not taking the record out on tour here in Toronto for a sold-out show. Is it difficult finding really good vegan meals? It's not. I mean, I feel like the the world has sort of come around since the 90s, and uh, and there are so many options for, for people with dietary restrictions like myself. Um, I mean, I just made myself a fake grilled cheese sandwich just a couple minutes ago, for example. So. It was just like a printout of a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. You just like kind of <laughs> chewed on it. It was a 3D printer. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
is the temp show tonight for the best meal of the tour so far? What would it be for each of you? Uh, I've been eating some. There's like these meals, the like microwave meals called Amy's meals. Okay. And they're like vegetarian or vegan, and I eat those like two of those a day and that's pretty much my entire tour so i'm eating like 500 calories a day so it's not pleasant yeah i've eaten several whole pizzas on this tour so whole far pizzas? Yeah. that sounds very tour-esque i yeah, must say it is. but but actually really good vegan pizza so we've got a lot of donuts too like every show these boxes and boxes of donuts are showing up which is just like way too tempting yeah it's 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 bad news you know where they're coming from for it to be no, reoccurring so often I, maybe like our fans have decided that we should be eating donuts and so they're just <laughs> they were too skinny yeah like and so we just get donuts it's actually pretty awesome but at the same time it's like who is this I, yeah and you come out at 2 in the morning and people are just out here just eating you donuts just like <laughs> hating themselves like Ugh, I have another one Ugh. Well, I just want to run into a little quick fire round with you, so whatever okay. comes to mind first, feel uh, free to say it. Uh-oh. Okay. I love how everybody says uh-oh. All right, we're ready. The doom is a lumen. All right, so the first one. Who would your dream jam session be with? Dream jam session? Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, Hendrix, but I mean, alive or dead. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, H- Jimi oh. Hendrix is a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both said Hendrix. That's interesting. Yeah. Right. And the bandmate dis- beside you would describe you as? Jade. Um, yeah, Jade. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. That's exactly how they Jade describe like? me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst job you've ever had? I was a like a stock boy at a grocery store, and I had to work inside of the, you know, where like the cold case where they put all the drinks and stuff. Yeah. On the other side of that, there was like a room where you stock that stuff, and it's super freezing in there, and I had to like work in there, and it was stinky, and it was cold. Dishwasher. Okay. Yeah. That's a popular one. Yeah. If I guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cheapest in the band? Cheapest. cheapest. No, definitely not Davey. He's like, he's the opposite of that. So he is the most lavishly spending fool. Yeah. Cheapest? I don't know. I don't feel like I'm cheap, but I'm also not a Davey, so. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm somewhere between a Davey and a Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> And for the last one, which curse word do you use the most? I say fuck a lot. You know, I'm from Northern California, and I feel like we say fuck a lot in Northern yeah. California. I hope I can say that on Ambi. Yes, you can. Can I say that on Ambi? Is that Ambi say friendly? <laughs> um, I say fuck a lot. So, yeah. I say, I probably say shit more when I'm, when I'm meaning something negative and say fuck or fucking when, when I'm talking about, when I'm just sort of throwing it in as this meaningless adjective. Like, um, so... But it's between the two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and just to wrap everything up, anything you want to leave with the AFI fans that will be viewing the interview? Um, thank you for supporting us for so many years, and we hope to see you again soon. Yeah. And if we haven't seen you yet, we'll see you soon. <laughs> and if you think we don't know where you live, we do. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. It really means a lot. Thank you. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.